Giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. That's all praises to the Heavenly Father through the name of the only begotten Son. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. Shalom to all you Akim and you Akwa, those of the hopeful elect that are seeking for salvation. So I want to bring out this article here uh, pertaining to updates in the news regarding what's going on with NATO and uh, the uh, war with Russia and Ukraine. All right. Now, this article is significant in terms of prophecies. You know, prophecy you know, goes into uh, to tell you before. OK, and the scriptures tell you, matter of fact, before I read this article, let me bring out St. Mark, the third chapter is and started verse 24. It says, and if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. Key point. So if a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. So you see within this kingdom, there is heavy division amongst the uh, NATO allies. And we're going to bring out the article just to go into that. Verse 25 says, and if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. So, you know, there's division across the board. Let me get go into that word divided. All right, it says uh, to separate into parts, cut into pieces. Okay, it says um, to divide into parties, be split in factions. All right, um, it says, uh, and that's pretty much the point. You know, there's a split in opinions, a disunion going on between the, the different allies. So as you see in this article here from RT News, it says NATO... The North Atlantic Treaty Organization consists of allies. OK, uh, America's at the forefront. Babylon and Great is at the forefront with heavy influence within these allies. Right. It says NATO divided on military aid for Ukraine. It says some bloc members are reportedly worried that sending jets and tanks to Ukraine will pour oil on the fire. NATO allies strongly disagree about the extent of military aid. The U.S. led the U.S. led bloc should pr provide to Ukraine and the prospects of talks with Russia. Bloomberg reported on Monday, quoting numerous sources and documents. Some members were said to have been adamant about wishing to avoid a direct war with Russia. Even suggested that President Vladimir Putin might deploy weapons of mass destruction if they armed Ukraine too heavily. A French official was quoted as saying that sending tanks and aircraft would pour oil on the fire. A document was described by Bloomberg as stating that some Western European countries were on the view that weapons shipments to Kiev should be limited, quote, due to fears that events could escalate out of control. In contrast, the leaders of the UK, the Baltic states and most Eastern European countries called on allies to send more armaments to Ukraine, including anti-aircraft capabilities, the report said. So there's heavy division across the board within NATO. There's two reasons why these other these uh, allies that are against arming Ukraine is one they know that Russia is one of the power, the most powerful armies out there, OK, with nuclear capability. And then secondly, they probably have, you know, uh, relationships with Russia, i.e. Uh, Germany. Germany is working with Russia to build the gas line, the gas pipeline. So they probably don't want to deteriorate that relationship. So there's a there's a division across the board. And as I opened up with. St. Mark, and if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. So we're witnessing division. You know, allies are split between their strategy on handling the Russia-Ukraine uh, debacle or, or, or war. Okay, now when you read St. Luke, because this is all prophecy, and of course, before a kingdom is uh, before a kingdom is taken down, you see there's division. The Lord's exposing the, these these devils as well. Okay. St. Luke 12 and 51 says, suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. I tell you nay, but rather division. So we see that the Lord is not coming to send peace. 
You know, the Lord is coming to bring evils. We're in evil times. We're seeing that there's a, a time of war, not a time of peace. Air strikes, hostile takeovers, you know, economic woes, tariff charges and taxes being levied against one another. So we're seeing that there this is not a time of peace as you know the prophecy goes into. It says uh Saint Luke twelve and fifty one, suppose ye that I am come to to give peace on earth, I tell you nay. So the Lord's like, No, I am not coming to send peace on earth. It says, but rather division. And when when people are divided, especially with the uh the you know the the military might that these different nations have all right, it's going to get really ugly. We're we're coming up into the times of World War III, okay? But the MOTB must be mandated first, okay? Cannot emphasize that enough. That must come first, the hour of temptation. All right, verse 52 says, For from henceforth there shall be five and one house divided, three against two and two against three. Verse 53, the father shall be divided against the son and the son against the father, the mother against the daughter and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. So Lord is not only bringing division on a on the higher level, he's also bringing division within households. So from the top down, divisions across the board, you know, example of that is when the MO, not the MOTB, Salaki, the, um, the jab was made mandated. Okay, which the MOTB will be made mandatory come soon. That's what they're pushing forward to. Okay, but um, when the jab was enforced, you had division amongst household. Those who were in support, okay, their medical beliefs were in support of quote unquote science, okay, pseudoscience. And then you had others who were against it. You have division of uh, political views within households and across the board. So we're witnessing a division taking place as is prophesied to. And all this is leading towards what? War. St. Matthew 24 and 3. It says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? And the end of the world, meaning the end of an age, the end of a rulership. So the disciples came to Lord Yahweh Shai privately and asked them what are going to be the signs. Okay, verse four says, what are going to be the signs that's going to be entered this rulership and that you're going to return, right? Your second coming. Verse four says, and Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. Verse five, for many shall come in my name saying, I am Hamashiach and shall deceive many. We're talking about false prophets here. False prophets are on a heavy rise. Those who will come in the name of Yahweh Shai, those who come in, in, in the name of JC, okay, and deceiving many of our people. So we're witnessing that before our eyes. I mean, we can go into it, okay, but, but we all know there's false prophets, those who are saying that they are the comforter, uh, you know, the comfy, which the Lord took him out. Okay, you got, uh, you know, leaders out there telling our people to take the jab. You know, you have all different types of pro false prophets saying there's not going to be any Jacob's trouble. You got uh, Israelites or, you know, Israelites joining um, Vocab Malone's program saying that, uh, you know, it's a downgrade to be an Israelite. I mean, it, it's so much madness out here. So it's it's overwhelmingly evident that there's false prophets deceiving many of our people. Verse six says, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, which is what we've been hearing and experiencing. Air, air strikes, hostile takeovers, economic tariffs and taxes levied on one another. So we're in those times, okay? It says, reading on verse 6, See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So, you know, all these things, false prophets, wars, rumors of wars are required to come to pass. Is prophecy. Verse 7 says, For a nation shall rise against nation, race wars, uh, wars of the people, division. Okay? And you can tell that there's a heavy division between uh, races. Okay? Uh, verse 7 reading on says, And kingdom against kingdom, kingdoms divided against one another. Just like this article I brought out. 
these different NATO countries, you know, arguably are, are their own kingdom set up. OK, whether it be a smaller, uh, you know, kingdom, they're still their own country. OK, within the allies. So there's division on their strategy on how America and these other uh, nations that are in support of providing milita military aid to Ukraine. OK, they are uh, against it. Some of them are. OK, this is a uh, part of prophecy here. It says kingdom against kingdom. It says, and there shall be famines, a shortage of food. Isn't that what Biden came out and said in the press conference recently? OK, there's going to be a shortage of food. It says, and pestilences, diseases, and earthquakes in diverse places. Verse 8, all these are the beginning of sorrows. So all these are the beginning of sorrows. We're witnessing division down from the top down. Okay, NATO divided on military aid for Ukraine. And that's going to eventually what increase tensions between these different kingdoms. Okay, which is all prophecy and it's all going to lead to what? World War Three. All praises to Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.